What's up, you beautiful rock stars? Jim Chandler with Rock Your Best Vocals here. Episode 52 of Monday Mindset Motivation. I can't believe I've been doing this a year. So this is the anniversary special, and it's about money. So many people have money issues. Confidence related to money. The higher the confidence that you have, the more money you're actually going to be able to make. Argue this in the comments below if you think that that's not true. I want to present some ideas to you, and then I'm going to share some very valuable things with you. So stick around because this is going to be super valuable for you if you do something about it. Why? Because videos don't motivate. Action motivates. The only way that you are going to actually be motivated is to do something. So first off, I want to look at the definitions for motivation and confidence. Okay, the definition of motivation is a reason or reasons for acting or behaving in a particular way. So there's a reason for acting. What do those two things mean? There's a reason. The reason behind that is there's a vision behind what you want. You want an outcome. And then acting or behaving is an action. It's a doing thing. You have to do something about it. So that's what motivation is. So the definition of confidence is the feeling or belief that one can have faith in or rely on someone or something. So what that means is that you have to have a belief that you can achieve something. Confidence is really just the belief about something. It doesn't mean that you believe it because you've done something over and over and over again, which people will say that confidence comes from doing it over and over again. But you can have a belief about something without doing it over and over and over again, because you can believe that the world is flat, even though you've never been and seen the world as being flat. Belief that does not occur by the actual experiencing of something. You can change your beliefs, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit here. So as you can see, they're tied into three basic premises, right? You have to have a vision. You have to have beliefs around that vision. And then the other thing is that you have to have the self-worth or the self-esteem to actually feel like you're worthy of having that. If you don't have self-esteem or the self-worth to believe that you can have something, you won't even attempt to achieve your vision if you don't believe that you can achieve it and you don't feel worthy of getting the outcome, you're never even going to try. Type in the comments below if this is making sense to you right now. So if any of this interests you and you'd like to learn more about it, you can check out a link below for my Bulletproof Vocal Confidence course where I cover all of this stuff and much, much more. It's not just lumping you with a course. I walk you through, step by step, a transformative process so you become confident. And you become that person with self-worth. Also, if you've enjoyed this so far while you're down there, please click the like button. This helps it get out to all the other people in the algorithm. Let's them know this is valuable content. Also, in case you didn't know, subscribing to my channel is free. So you can click that button down below that says subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified of any other videos that come up. And all of that is free and it's a free way to support the channel. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Also, because I mentioned self-worth, self-esteem. Okay, let me address in a little bit more detail the self-worth, the self-esteem issue because most people suffer from low self-esteem. You may be thinking that you don't suffer from low self-esteem, but I'm going to introduce to you some concepts from a book called The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Braden. And if any of this resonates with you, you may be having some issues around that and it may be worth you clicking the link down below and even buying the book. These are the signs of low self-esteem. Number one, self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, what does that mean? That means if you think that something is going to turn out horribly and then it does, and then you go, well, see, that's it. Like Anything I do, anything I try, it's going to turn out horribly. Number two is self-sabotage, which basically that means you don't do the things that you know you should be doing. Anytime you don't do something that you know that you've committed to, you 
make a big withdrawal from your self-esteem bank account. But when you do do something that you said you were going to do, you make a big deposit in your self-esteem bank account. Let's just say, for instance, it could be as simple as I am going to do the dishes after dinner straight away. You wanted to watch Netflix and you just left the dishes and then you're going to bed and then you realize you've left the dishes there and then you're kicking yourself because of that. That is a big dent in your self-esteem. And then the next one is constant dissatisfaction. Are you always dissatisfied with the way your life is going, with how much you make, with the car that you drive, with the place that you live in? This ties into gratitude. When you start to realize that you can feel the opposite of that, you can feel gratitude for anything that you have in your life, then that turns that around. These are the three things that might elude to the fact that you may suffer from low self-esteem. And okay, now that we've identified some potential opportunities for solution, what do we do about it? Especially right now, if you have money issues, and that's what this is really all about, is money because everybody thinks that money is going to make them happy. So that's what everybody is really motivated by money, which is probably why you click this. The best way to actually change your money beliefs is through hypnosis. And I'm going to share a link down below, which is very valuable. It's someone who I love and follow myself. It's Marissa Peer. Change your money mindset and your money beliefs. It's a five day money challenge and it's free. And I think you'll find it very valuable. It all ties into your beliefs around money and it also ties into your self-worth and your self-esteem. So that link for the six pillars of self-esteem is down below as well. There is a link for the audiobook. There is a link for the book. It's an Amazon affiliate link. So if you click on that, it's a free way to support the channel. So I appreciate that. Okay, so that's all for this anniversary special. I hope you've got some value out of this. Please share Marissa's five-day money challenge because it can help tons and tons of people. So I want to get that out there and help other people as much as possible. I hope this has helped you and please stick around and watch this next video there because I think that will benefit you as well. And I will see you on the next one. Okay. Rock your best focus where your best keeps getting better. Thank you. Thank you.